Hey there, Nick Jinpakis here. In this video, we're going to go over how to make your shell scripts a little bit more resilient by using the set no unset option. For example, take a look here at this demo script. And if I run the script here, it is not going to echo anything out. And that is because we have this refer variable defined up here with two R's. However, when we reference it down here, there is only one. So if I go and I fix that typo, rerun the script, then things work as expected. But uh, you know how it is when you're developing code. It's very easy to make typos in certain variables, especially when you're doing some shell scripting where, yeah, it's just not going to out of the box help you with things like that. Now, I've done lots of videos in the past about shell check, and shell check is really great here because if you run it against your script, it will throw out a couple of warnings that will very clearly make it seem that you have a typo somewhere, and it will show you exactly where to look. But we can actually take this one step further and get protection from the shell interpreter itself by using an option called no unset. And now if you rerun the script here, then we will actually get good feedback from the shell interpreter itself to say on line seven here, which is down here, the refer parameter is not set. Basically, it's going to make it impossible for us to use a variable unless it happens to be defined. Now, this is undefined here because, yeah, it needs to have uh, the two R's. And then if we rerun the script now, things are going to be good to go and it all works as expected. And uh, by the way, if you just want to use the shorthand version of this one, that would be set U instead. So you can comment this out and this is going to do the same exact thing here. We'll get the same error here. Parameter is not set. Uh, I've done other videos in the past about different uh, set parameters here. For example, there's the pipe fail. Uh, this one actually isn't POSIX compliant, so this won't work. So if I run that, you know, I need to set the shebang to bash, which also I uh, should point out here too that no one set is POSIX compliant, so you're good to go there. Another really popular one to use is set E, which is going to just make the script halt if you happen to encounter an error. I've, all, I've done videos about the, all this in the past, but let's keep this one focused to uh, no one set here. Now, you might be thinking though, like, well, you know, what if I have a variable that's optional? Like maybe I want it to find, but maybe sometimes not. And a good example of that one might be, like let's say that you have uh, an if condition where you're checking to see if, I don't know, maybe a debug variable happens to exist here. And if it does exist, then you can say echo like, you know, some useful debug message, like something like that. And uh, if we run this over here, then we are going to see that we get an error that says, hey, well, the de debug parameter is not set, right? It's just floating around here in the script. It's not defined anywhere. And uh, we can get around that one just by defining it here. And uh, we can also just pass in a default value. And then if we rerun the script here, now we are good to go. Now, this is actually exiting with a non exit code zero because the if condition is evaluating to false. So that's a little bit confusing. So let's just explicitly say that the script is going to exit successfully here. And then things do work as nice. And uh, we can also do debug one here and rerun the demo script. And then we get our some useful debug message here. So I've actually done a number of videos in the past or I think just one specific video in the past about, you know, using squiggly braces on your variables and setting defaults and stuff like that. But in this case, yeah, we're actually just setting an empty default value here, uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, another way to do this one, right? You can just do like debug hello here would be the, ver the default value if it weren't set, right? And if I just do debug really quick here, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll comment that out. Uh, if we rerun this, now we just get hello here, right? Because it's defaulting to that if it's unset. But in this case, what we actually want is, uh, yeah, no value at all. So it's essentially undefined. So our script will continue to work as normal. And uh, we basically get the best of both worlds, right? We can now have optional variables whenever we want. We just define them like this. Uh, we can either use them with it or without, and things work the same. And then, you know, for our other variables, like, you know, the ones that we actually do want to define, we can just do that over here. So this is pretty cool. Uh, just to be super clear too, right? Like this could be replaced with hello. And uh, this is just not going to work there because hello is uh, not set. I just wanted to include that there at the very end because like it's not just limited to, you know, variables with typos, right? Like if you wanted to use this variable somewhere, like you have to define it somewhere. But uh, that's about it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you are going to be using this option. I feel like this is something now I'm going to just be adding to all of my scripts because that exit protection is really nice. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.